Hey, good afternoon, everybody. BG Mikey Mike here. I'm just uh, doing a little video. I switched all my music, most of my music, over to SSD drives, uh, Samsung T7s. The drives are phenomenal, but as you know, once you switch drives over and they change letters, you're going to run into some problems like uh, missing files, as right here. You click on it, relocate file. There it is. I found it, analyze it, and it put it in its database. So I'm just going to click on a few, and we're going to go through these one by one. And as long as it keeps find like right here, this file is missing. So can't find that file. Set the control. Get that file out there. Relocate missing files. Found that one. I found the next one. The next one. And the next, well, the next one didn't find either. So we have to look at the name of it. Let's see what it is. And it's right there. So I'm going to hit cancel. It's two and four. The comeback. So cancel that out. Come back over here. We're just going to hit control. And we're going to get rid of, not get rid of those files, but just uncheck them. And we're going to see if we can find the surprise, or no surprise. And I found that one. And I just keep doing this till I get down to, I have all my files hopefully back in order. This is a part of being a DJ that uh, a lot of people don't see. They just think you load music up into your hard drives and away you go. Now that file, it could not find. So we're just going to check out the file name. You're the reason. So I'm going to go back up up here. I'm going to control, take that one out. I'll we'll hit cancel here. Take this one off, and it's marching, and then we're going to start again. And as you can see, it's, I don't know if you can really see it there, but it's searching my databases. I'm uh, running four hard drives, two that are SSD drives and two that are regular drives. Um, the two SSD drives are two terabytes apiece. My one Western Digital is a two terabyte drive, and my Seagate is a four terabyte drive. And as you can see, I found that group of files. So now we're going to move down to the next group. Highlight a couple of them, hit Shift, and relocate missing files. And now this is with Virtual DJ 2021. The platform is amazing. I have no complaints with it. I just wanted to switch my music from one drive over to the SSD drives. And again, the drive letters change and this and that. So you will run into some problems, but they're minor. Easy to fix. Again, we found this one, this one, this one. This one we didn't find. So I'll go here so we can locate this file. And as you notice, let me see if I could turn over that way. That says drive G. And when it opens it, now that sign is on drive D. So let's do it again. I'm just going to tilt this up a little bit so you can see where I'm going to be at. Again, again. Select the group of files and relocate missing files. Here we go. I'm using my Lenovo. It's a gaming PC. The machine is phenomenal, super fast. It has a SSD drive in it. I think 16 or 32 gig of RAM in it. And it just uh, 
goes through everything. I did uh, analyze my hard drives, but again, I still came up with some missing uh, files. So we're just going through them, and I wanted to show you exactly what I do to do this to get all these uh, files back in order and back on that right drive letter I have tons and tons of music as you can see now this one here where my cursor is Teenager in Love by Dio as you can see there's no time there I would say most likely that's going to error out it's not going to find it, so let's see what happens. Some are video files. Some are music files. And then see, it came up with the error message. Can't find that song. So I just hit OK. Cancel. And then I just move on to the next. Select a few. I know there's some uh, karaoke um, music on here. It says it's missing, but I think they are on my karaoke drive, so I'm not even really worried, but I want to show you that it's going to come up missing file or cannot locate file. So hit OK, cancel, and again. Highlight a bunch of files, relocate, open, 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 when you can't find a file, this is the little prompt you'll get, so you hit OK, it's the vinyls, I touch myself, I hit cancel here, come back up here, So what I'm going to do is control, take that one off, disturb, disco, and I'm going to start again. Hopefully, see now I found that file. ASML Club Mix. Clear my throat. That is a great song. I uh, made some of these uh, sound effects myself. Some of the mixes I made myself also. And again, a group of files. Now these two here, Janet Shoplin and Everly Brothers, and also... Ticket to Ride. I know they're karaoke files, so I'm not even going to mess with them this time. I'm just going to locate this one. Open. So I'm going to start down here with D Low. And grab a bunch of files again. Go through it again. Relocate missing files. I mean, it's a timely process, but it pays off in the long run. And on this one here, it's a Dr. Hook, Sylvia's mother, karaoke. And I hit cancel. I'm just going to look for that here. So, okay, there it is. So, control, control, control. Then we'll start back up with Doc and Dream Warriors. And as you can see, I have, I have duplicate files here. <clears throat> Some are um, from the regular CD. Some are from a remaster CD. I don't like to get rid of any of my files. Um, you never know when you're going to need both of them. I have uh, live versions and mono versions, stereo versions. And uh, honestly... The mono versions to me, they actually sound better 
than the live than the stereo versions. Even though they were remastered, the mono version and the original recording, especially a lot of the Beatles stuff, they sound amazing. Now, as you can see here, where my cursor is, there's no timestamps there, so I'm gonna just highlight up the Ed Sharon or Sharon, however you pronounce his name, and we're gonna relocate. Because anything I found now without any time there, usually the files are missing. And that shape of view, as you can see, it is a video file. Right there, you can see the video icon. We're just going to take this one and see if that is there. Nope. As you can see, it's just going back up to the last file that I found, that shape of view. So I'm just going to hit cancel instead of wasting my time there. And I come down here to Eddie Rabbit. Relocate that one. Okay. Then we're going to switch down. We go right down to Elton John. And what this actually does again, well, these are video files. Oh, so can't find that one. What this does is puts them back into their proper drive. The drive letter, it analyzes them. It also adds them to the search database. And it's one less thing I have to do a little later. I mean, I could go back and analyze my drives. I'll show you that in a second. I should minimize this down. And let's see, I think I have a back running. Yeah, it's asking me to start, so I'm not going to restart yet. Now, <clears throat> there's my internal drive right here. This is DJ Mikey 009, DJ Volume 1, my Jedi disc, which is my Western Digital, and my T7. There's a, these are two T7 drives. They're phenomenal. They're made by Samsung. Speed is un unbelievable. But as you can see, there's um, 2.43 terabyte left on this one. So I have 1.6 terabyte of music here. Um, 1.35 terabyte free left here. So I have over 600, uh, 550 terabyte of music here. A 550 gigabyte of music, I'm sorry. My Jedi drive has 3.1 terabyte free, which I have uh, 500 gig of music there. Now, on my other T7, it is a, two, uh, a one terabyte drive, and that's almost half full already. So to analyze all that music over, it would take days. Approximately, um, when I did analyze it very quick, it took 36 hours to do those four drives. And I, I don't want to go through that again, analyzing them all over again. I'm uh, going to put tags on each drive so I know which drive is which especially like the T7 drives, they look identical. The Western Digital Drive is just a little mobile drive, and the Seagate Drive is um, a powered one. So not going to worry about labeling those two, but the two T7 drives I am definitely going to label. But that's my four hard drives that I have my music on. And we'll get back to Virtual DJ Pro 2021. So uh, this one here, again, like I said, it has no time on it. Um, we'll see. Uh, let me scroll this up a little bit right here. See if that is there. Hit relocate. No, it's not there. So we're just going to go down here. And we see these three, three signs with times on it. And we are going to relocate. And as you see here, I hit open. You can see it analyzing it. And you can see it putting in its proper drive letter. 
Elvis Presley, right here, no time on it. Guaranteed that's not in there. Open, no, missing. So, not too worried about that. I know I have that song, but it just thinks when you don't, can't find it when you're trying to relocate it, especially if you're doing a large group of files. And then you start back from scratch again. So what I like to do is just grab a group, maybe a 10, 15 files, and search for them. It analyzes it, puts it back in its proper drive letter. And we got that whole group done. Oh, no, there we go. Now we got that whole group done. So now we'll move on to the next. These three here. Let's see if they're there. Which most likely they will be because the time is there also. And this is a video file. Music file. Music file. The fix. Is it there? No. So we're just going to skip over that one. And I'm using my library in Virtual DJ. Went to database, went to audio, came down here to missing, and that's where all your missing files show up. And as you can see, I have a bunch of missing files to go through. I will get through them. It's going to take some time. But once I get them done, I'll be back. Um, DJ Mikey Mikey is out. Stay healthy, stay safe. Practice and enjoy. Have a great day. See you soon, everybody.